Hey folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Potionomics. In the last video, we very slowly started crawling our way through phase three of this uh, competition. We've got all our competition potions either done or about to be done. We're about to finish a custom order as well by tomorrow, but we're finishing off today by opening the shop once more and selling our uh, health potions and petrification cures. This is episode 11, I wanna say. It's funny, because at this point in time, I've recorded 11 episodes of Disco Elysium. <laughs> I started recording Disco Elysium about eight months ago. This game is so easy to play. You know, it's just very easy to just shove your entire day into it. And I love doing so, <laughs> you know, I really do. Like, I've, I've become slightly addicted, I'm not gonna lie. Craftsmanship, craftsmanship, keep your guard up. Lovely stuff, love that early scroll. And then, it seems to disappear from your deck when you play it. Maybe I'm wrong. I, just, I, I feel like I never see it again. We're gonna finish this turn whatever we get anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm losing confidence in this arm, it must be sad. That's gonna get us up to four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This arm, in theory, is really strong, but it never... It never works out like that, you know? That statue in the base so creepy at night. Ooh. Yeah, it, just, it, it never works out the way I expect. Like I, like, I get it now, and it seems great, but there's no bloody... I mean, I may as well play it, actually, now that I think about it, because it gets two because of uh, Squirrel. Um, hmm. I don't really... I, I need... Yeah, okay, let me think about this. I do have free shield. I think I'm probably closing it out here. Yeah, I am. Am I? Ooh. Yeah, we are, yeah. As long as I get to that third tier, I'm pretty happy. That's 721. I'm not going to complain about 721. Is it? And of course, we're going to fill... Oh, hello. Grand and grand. I don't really... I mean, it's spooky to do, to take them on. But at the end of the day, I don't really have anything else going on right now. And it kind of gives me direction when I'm making my potions that I want to sell. So, you know, these are the ones I'll... You know what? I'll just... Yeah. Why not, eh? Why blimmin' not? Plus, she'll like me more if we do it, which is actually a good reason to do it. Captivate. God, I love you, Captivate. <laughs> so very much. God damn, Disarm. I do not love you, Disarm. Oh, I should have put Sympathy on first. Like, in theory, it's so good, and it just never is, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Don't be a sellout. What do you want about this? You're, you're a terrible friend. <laughs> terrible friend. Right, can I... Yeah, I'm gonna confident... Which you always want earlier. I don't... I'm not totally convinced I'm confident either at this episode. But we should... Ooh. I was gonna say we should max out here, but that's a really high requirement. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Ah! Humbug, ladies and gentlemen. A big old humbug. <laughs> it says he's chill, but he walks in like he's doing the weirdest dance in the world. God damn you, disarm! <laughs> what is the point in you? Ah. Uh, should have waited. I knew I should have. As soon as I played it as well, I just got annoyed. But I should have waited. A temptation to close it out is pretty high. No, I shouldn't. Oh, should I? No, I shouldn't. I wish I could add more cards. I would add so many of those patience given captivates. I would add so many captivates if I had the chance. I really would. Alright, just playing out and then finishing off. Yeah, this was definitely... Was this better? I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Oh! So close! So close! Sad. You know what, I'm making okay money. Nothing special, really, but it's fine. Should I... Maybe I should have closed out, though. Hmm, interesting. I think I should have. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. Uh, bravado. It's probably too late for bravado. It is too late for bravado. We're just gonna. I can bravado. That's nine. That's enough. Yeah, we should do that instead. Because that would get me there, but this gives me an extra three percent. Not just a hat rack, my friends. Not just a hat rack. Know what I'm doing? Quick maths. Sid, hello. <laughs> Didn't we just? Weren't you here a minute ago? 
Uh, I think I want to throw another keep your guard up in my deck. I don't know if I even can, actually, but if I can, I want to throw one in. I'm working with here as, <laughs> as I pay 50% more. <laughs> Sympathy. Well, we should scheme first. Don't need the squirrel. Sympathy. Bravado. Should have bravadoed first. Oh god, this is horrible. I've been just playing out these two cards. Yeah, no. Bah! Humbug. I can't complain too much. It's decent money, but... And I'm getting a lot quicker at it. I think I'm flying through it better and better. Gold spent, gold earned. Lovely stuff. Still five days to go. We've never been this ahead of time before. And it, it just... It wasn't that hard. You know, it was pretty easy. <laughs> Another sunny day. Man, those weather witches are up to no good. Are oh, good, even. Ah. Greetings, Sylvia, and please make no effort to sell me anything. I know very well the many merits of your potions. Today, however, I'm here not to spend gold, but to tell you I'm once again expanding my offerings. Oh, I'm all ears. Human ears are very prominent, that is true. But, as for my news, from this day forth, in addition to cauldrons, I shall offer for sale... Aging barrels! Placing a potion in such a barrel will elevate its quality and its selling price. Interesting means delaying gratification. I am all for delaying gratification. And you're eager customers, but as the saying goes, great things come to those who age thing in barrels. We shop with Muktuk. Yeah, we had the same idea. You know, I've never actually said that, but I'm going to start. An aging barrel could definitely come in handy on those occasions when I'm not rushing to get a potion immediately from cauldron to shelf. Which is going to be less common now that I've got... Well, I'm about to have three shelves. <clears throat> but still. I knew you'd see the wisdom in this. Come and visit me when you're ready to begin. If you can supply the materials, I shall provide the rest. And Sylvia, good luck, yes? This boss fin makes the hairs of my moustache stand on end. It would be good, I think, for you to trounce him. <laughs> I, one thing I'll say to the game. I like how it, it keeps throwing in new mechanics constantly, which is really good. Right, ice tonics. If we can sell ice tonics today, they're going to go for a fortune. Jesus. Halfway through the week. Is what Oswald would say. Aww. I hope he comes back. He's gonna come back. Uh, right, I do have ice tonics. I mean, these, yeah, these, I mean. Right, I'm gonna buy a tonic shelf, is what we're gonna do. Oh! Oh! Thunder Tonic 816! Oh! I want it so badly. <laughs> but even still, I mean, this is 665. I think that's worth taking the opportunity, you know? They're yeah, spare as well. I mean, I could just sell them. I can always make more of them, you know? Maybe I should just sell my tonics. Strike while the iron is hot, as they say. Cures aren't going for much. Enhancers are going for more as well. Oh, look how much money I would make. I would make so much money. <laughs> I would make so much money. I could even sell that one. Oh, it's so much money! <laughs> um... Because we're about to... Get, well, let's go check on our brews first. <clears throat> we should have several done. Two. Oh. Interesting. Only increases by five. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Eight, seven, eight! Oh! Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, that's not done yet. That's with drowsing enhancer. So I can only sell one of these insight enhancers, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I need to think here. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It's very scary. Oh, we can make so much money. Look at this. Look at this. It's mad. It's mad. <laughs> that's 7, 7, 8. It's 14, 22. Let's call them 5 each. 32... 39, 48, 48, 5, 4, 6, 3. That's 6,000. With slight, like, rounding up, generally speaking, that's 6,300. But that's without the extra 50% or so I get. We're talking nearly 10,000 gold if I sold all of that. And, the, you know, the best thing is, I can sell all of it. I don't need any of it. I don't think. <clears throat> that's for the mission, that's for the mission, and that's for the turn-in, but I've got the spare one over there. We're not doing it yet, 
but it's definitely on the list. Um, we should brew in the meantime. Uh, I guess I should age something in this barrel. Do I have two? Oh, we do have two. Um, okay. Oh, does that have to be the same? Oh, it does. Interesting. I mean, I'm only selling. I'm keeping one of those, right? Isn't that for the... No, that's for the that's for the big boy mission. Wait, am I? Wait, now I'm confused again. That's for that. Oh, I'm done, obviously. That goes there. That's my three potions. Done. Um... It takes five time slots. One, two, three, four, five. If I get a better aging cauldron, one that does it a lot quicker, we could maybe even age these potions and then sell them later in the day. How long have we got left on our brew? It's quite a long time, right? Hmm. I, need to I just need to think. What do I want to do here? I can either sell now, set up another brew... I think that's probably the better thing to do. I think we sell now. Make tons of cash. <laughs> and set everything else up for making more of the same kind of stuff, right? The only thing I'm hesitant about selling, the only reason I'd be hesitant about selling is because I can upgrade this shelf. I can make this shelf even better than it is already. And gain another... You know, we're losing 20% here. If I could have an enhancer shelf, I'd gain 20% percent more on this, which is a lot. But it's 20% on the base price. Oh god, yeah, 20% on the base price is 160. That's 320 gold. But I lose a time slot. Is that okay? So if I lose... I know this isn't exciting, but just bear with me. So if we use a time slot, we set to brew. I don't know what we set. Probably just more... Probably more ice tonics, actually. Ice tonics... Yeah, we can make some really good ice tonics, right? So we'd make some ice tonics. We'd probably both brews. I've got the Enhancer, I've got the other thing coming for the custom mission. That's another 1,000 gold as well. So, one time slot gets us to there. Sell. Pick up the new brews. Sell again. Make a bajillion pounds. Right, okay, let's travel. Um, have I thought this through correctly? I think I have. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, we may as well just keep... I'm not going to throw them any ingredients, I'm just going to let them do their thing. I don't want to think about that right now, there's too much going on, my brain is like freaking out. So we're going to travel and we're going to sell twice today. Today is a money day is what today is, I can't do anything else, I cannot use a time slot on anything other than cash. Oh, I didn't send you out. I sent Mint out, didn't I? Did I send Mint out? I feel like I sent Mint out. Wow, I did nothing yesterday. <laughs> right, let's go talk to... Well, my priority is a new shelf, so let's go... Oh, actually a new aging barrel maybe as well. <clears throat> da -dum -dum -dum. Oh, hello. Mushroom barrel. Oh, it still takes six, but it um gives me more money. Oh, loads of these things. Bloody hell. So I can go up to 15, which is pretty good. It's not that bad to get. I, I think these are more likely. Might, might, might pick up a couple of these now. I'll go buy some materials. Uh, right, okay. But I'm looking for a shelf anyway. What did I want? Enhancers, wasn't it? I think it was enhancers. Okay, any chance I can upgrade? Need two of this fancy log that I don't have. Um, wait, are these ones I'm not using. Seems unlikely. Oh yeah, I'm using 15s, aren't I? I really hate that you can't upgrade without pick, picking the shelf up first. I really, really dislike that as a mechanic. Like, my temptation right now, I've got this new shelf. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I really hate that. <laughs> it really annoys me because I can't upgrade that until the next tier because that's when that becomes available. I think that's really stupid. Um, whatever. Let's let's get one of these barrels. I may as well get. I can't get any of these, but I can get one of these ones. Which one do we want more? This one looks cooler. Well, we want two, don't we? Yeah. All right, let's go talk to. Uh... Let's go talk to her. Oh, I know you don't, buddy. It's okay. Goodbye, such sweet sorrow, or something. I don't know. All right, I don't know. I think I don't have any of these, so I don't think this is gonna work today. But it'll be a tomorrow thing, essentially. I'm gonna stock up some fuel in general, actually. I am again more and more seeing the uh, the value in fuel. It's really important. And um, we're gonna go buy the chest from the kitty cats. I don't. I think I've got anything else to spend the money on. Wait, I want to go see if I can buy those barrels from Muktuk. And then today we're selling twice. We are going to make a lot of money. So I'm not too concerned about spending what I've got. Meow! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I don't think I've got enough of any of those to do it. But it's worth a shot. No, I don't think so. We'll just, we'll just buy out again tomorrow. And then we'll buy two of these. Okay, cool. Um, oh, wait, let's check with Baptiste before we check with the cats. If Baptiste has a new ingredient, it's always worth sending him out for that, right? Like, I don't think... I, I think both of these are new, actually. Yeah, you know, I may as well just go for it at this point. There we go. Thanks, buddy. So, I don't have anything for Quinn, as far as I know. I can't possibly have anything for Quinn, right? Is there anything on sale today? Uh, no? No. So is there anything- oh, bone! I need bone, is what I need, right? Let's, let's buy some of those present ingredients again that we always need. So I'm prepared. We're gonna do our presents, then we're going back and we're selling. I know I'm spending all my money, but it really doesn't matter. We're about to be loaded, <laughs> to say the least. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell Two lots of nine. Maybe I'm not. Maybe we're only going to sell once today. Now that I think about it, actually. But uh, we'll see. See what happens. Right, that'll do. Let's give out some gifties. Sack of slime for you, you lucky devil. How are we doing with Quinn? Still not there. And all the gifts. Off we go. Oh, it takes so long. <laughs> Uh, dum dum dum. I have two goals. Is that the lowest I've ever had <laughs> since like the very start of the game? <clears throat> it's an interesting way because in in theory you feel like you should be saving up for future things. And what we'll do when we do this set is we will save up a little bit because um we're not million miles. We are quite far from the competition. But I always like we talked about in the past. I want to have gold ready for the next phase of the game, right? Don't know if we can get into probably next tier, right? And this is one we can do. We'll probably we'll probably grab another cauldron as well. Probably do this one. Oh no, that's ah it's aging barrel slots. That's what the basement's for. Interesting. I'm not I'm not sure how convinced I am by this aging barrel mechanic. I mean it makes sense. There's no reason not to do it as long as you don't need the stuff immediately. Like why bother why not do it, you know? I guess. Also, the fact that she can rank up again would definitely suggest to me that um, you do get rep with characters even when you can rank them up, which I've been debating for a long time. Because I ranked her up yesterday, right? In the last game day. And she's already ready to go again. And all we've done is give her a gift in that time. So it would suggest that it's, it's stacking up, you know? Did I get... Oh, wait, I needed fish. I got crackers the other day, right? Yep. Yeah. You don't know if I didn't steal it. I could be using you as a fence. You don't know. And this is my least favourite part of every day. <laughs> I feel like I have to do it. But I can't wait till it's over. <laughs> we'll have, um... Tomorrow's going to be a social day. Tomorrow's going to be a rank up day. We do, we do need one. And we've got all the potions we need. We've got, we're going to have tons of money. 
You know, it's, it's definitely the time. I keep forgetting what Mint wants. It's a bone, isn't it? So cute. Nearly there, folks. <laughs> Nearly there. I really want to rank Quinn up. I think it might just be one more to go. I don't know for sure, but it feels like it. Oh, I didn't buy any grubs. I think we've got plenty. I just don't know where they are. There they are. We should buy more of those um, little dudes making the ingredients as well. Because it is just free ingredients. Like, why not do it? I assume these are the last characters we're going to get as well based on this screen. Like, I don't think Shark Boy is going to be our best friend anytime soon, you know? Oh, he's so shy. Bless him. He also has a stupid beard, though. If you shave, like, a full-on shape into your beard, I just don't trust you as a human being, you know? <laughs> For some reason, I thought everything was going to be ready. Right, no, I have um, customization to do. Oh, done not much. All we're doing is bringing in a new shelf. Oh, there it is. I was wondering. I, I thought the shop was going to extend over here, you know, and it's just. It's not happening. I pressed the wrong button. Eh. Huh, sorry. <laughs> uh, shelf. Shelf. Alright, so what have I got at the moment? I've got... This is a problem. I can't even see what I've got unless I pull it away. Ten percent, fifteen percent. So I've got three different ones. I've got the three different fifteen percent shelves. And sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, what is the best? Like, what I'm actually curious about is it better to? So you see, every time, right? <laughs> in the next phase, in phase four, we're gonna get shelves that sell for twenty percent bonus price, right? Because these are fifteen. We had ten. We had five. That's how it's gone up, right? That's nothing. That's five percent. That's ten percent. We're now at 15, so it's going to be 20%, and that's how it goes up every single time. It also goes up a little bit more, 3%, 5%, 5%, 7%. So I'm expecting 20% and 9% for the right ingredient. <clears throat> if you upgrade a shelf, and bearing in mind, I can really only upgrade previous tiers. You can sometimes upgrade current tier if you get a bit lucky, but it, it's, it's rare. So I can really upgrade the previous tier, which has capacity. Is selling more potions worth losing 7% price increase. I don't think it is. I think upgrading, unless you can happen to land on the upgrade materials for the correct tier, which is difficult to do. You need to get it from Mint, etc. I think unless you can do that, it's not worth doing at all. I think you always upgrade to the next tier. Just interesting to think about. Right, so. So, what can't I sell? Right, all three of these are special. I need to keep an enhancer back, right? One of those is for the for the mission. 1062. I don't know what's going on, but it's amazing. Um the to Grand Shadow Tonic. I don't think I need a ton that for anything. Um, we don't want to sell cures today. I do want to sell tonics. Do I need the Grand Shadow tonic? Sorry, I'm, I just need to think. They're the same. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little nervous that I'm going to mess up. I think this is what I want to do. It's a shame that there's no tonic ones for this tier. I guess that's why I would do it. If I had a fourth shelf, I would have a previous tier tonic one, because that would be worth keeping. And then I'd try to upgrade it. I guess that's the only time. So they're my enhancers. That's on the right tier. Cures. Do I have any cures over here? I don't really have any cures at all, no. Is that better or worse? It's the same. Tonic. I don't have a tonic shelf, so they have to go there. I don't have a 
sure. Yeah. Hmm. I really want a tonic shelf. Um, okay, so, are we good? I'm really par- why am I so paranoid? <laughs> oh, maybe I can sell this stamina potion. What's that go for? Yeah, sure. Let me just- let me just make sure. Oh, it's this one I'm doing. I'm not doing this one now. Oh, I do want to do this one. Oh, that's what we'll set up now, actually, on our next brew. So, I've got the dowsing enhancer is on the way. And the Greater Insight Enhancer is the one that I've left over here. Grand Poison Cure, Grand Thunder Tonic, Grand Stamina Potion, both all above Tier 3. That's what I'm looking for, right, for the mission. How do I see my mission ones? Do I have to come here? You should really be able to see it from the home screen. Grand Stamina Potion, Grand Thunder Tonic. I've got three ticks, that's good. Okay, right, so let's try to do Zid's mission. <clears throat> we need Grand Drowsiness and Grand Alertness. We have first and fifth. So Grand Drowsiness and Grand Alertness. Is it Drowsiness Cure? It is, right? Yeah. Drowsiness Cure with first and fifth thingies. So this and this. Okay, nothing has both. <laughs> um... <clears throat> So we need something that's got those in C and D out. So we're looking... It has to be that, basically. Okay, and then we want the one that's got this in there as well. It can't be that one, though, because that's going to take that off. It can't be that one, though. It can't be that one! Hooray! Glory. The new rose we got has saved the day. Okay, cool. So, then we just need to make a... Drowsiness cure. What level? Grand. 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 Okay, here we go. Uh, a, B, and D. Let's rank up by this. What am I looking for here? One, one, two. I know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just believe me. Trust me. Wait, what if I get rid of that? Throw in that. It's a bit better. That's grand. I mean, that's fine. If I can get it better, I'll get it better. Uh, the red is perfect with the blue. I just need 16. Can I get specifically 16? I can, but on its own, that's going to be rough, I think. Beautiful. Look at that. What a stunner. It's only going to get me to there or there. But we're getting four of them. We only need one for the mission. Yeah, good stuff. That worked out really well. Let's fuel up. Oh, do I really want it to take one? I don't really want to. The problem is, I don't want to keep brewing all day. <laughs> like, I'm fine to just brew twice a day. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just brew again at the end of the day. Because otherwise I just spend all my time in here. This is why the days are... Uh, it's funny, because even though... I've become so much better at the game. I, all my days are so much longer because I spend so long brewing potions now where I didn't in the past. All right, the other thing we needed was a alertness enhancer. Alertness enhancer. Which I've never made before. Have I never made before? Oh, I have, yeah. Alertness enhancer. Come back. Alertness enhancer. And again, it needs this. And we don't want a if possible. And we don't want E if possible. We're looking for B, C, D. B, C, D? B, C, D. Yep, cool. Um, it can't be that. It can't be that. It can be that. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, it could be that even. It's pretty sweet. And uh, we want this one. That's a beast, isn't it? The bioplasm. It has to be the bioplasm. Okay. So... Now we just need to get this to grand, right? Yeah. Is that grand? It says grand drowsiness cure. I think it never says grand the second time. It says greater insight, and I think it's great for both. All right, cool. Let's go. Um, three four three, however, is a monster. <laughs> uh, if I was four hundred and five, so we we could go a hundred, two hundred, a hundred would be the rough goal, essentially. Not as easy as it sounds. Let's get some high Magimin ones in there first. 
It's a little high. It's, it's not going to be perfect, this one. I'm, I'm very aware of that already. I said 100, 200, 100, right? So that's basically 100. That's basically 100. We go to our eight. It does fit. Oh, does it fit? 150. No, it doesn't fit. If I could get that a little lower, that'd be great. If I could get like 30 instead. Or 32. 30. Gotta make sure that I'm not counteracting any of the others as well. So I need to get a 30 green. I'm really curious, like, if people are following what I'm doing here. Like, does it make sense to people? I'm looking for 196. I'm like, I'm sure, it's, I'm not saying it's over. I'm not saying I'm doing anything overly complicated. Don't get me wrong. Just that, like, I know I'm not really explaining my thought process, <laughs> per se. I can't use that one, damn. I can't use that, though. I don't really want to. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So I'm looking for 188. No, wait, it's 343. That's not maths. Wait, so I need to do 31 extra. So it's 100 and... Fuck. <laughs> I was doubling it. It's 343. So it's a third of 94, which is 31.3 recurring. So let's assume it's 31, which means I'm looking... 95, 125. I need 15. No, I need 13 on my yellow. Specifically 13. I can get 18. I can get 12. I'm one away. I'm literally one away. I think. I don't know. It's not, I don't think there's a good way for me to know for that for sure. I don't know if that's possible. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is fine. Don't get me wrong. But if I can, if I can perfect it, I'm gonna perfect it. Like this is enough to finish the mission. But I would like to get it bang on. Maybe I can change the others slightly to make it easier. Because these are horrible numbers to work with. I can knock them down by thirty. Go up to forty. 104. Non it's never gonna it's never gonna divide nicely into three. <sighs> Not with a four in the end. I mean it could do if I go into the 24s. 90, 114. If I could throw a 20. No, but then I'm not gonna have enough ingredients to do this. Or maybe I would. Can I throw a 20 on both? 114 divided by three is 38? Yeah. So I would be looking for 38 plus 114 is 152 on the yellow. I'd have to get 152. I'd have to get 17 two ingredients in yellow, but that is actually doable, I think. No, because I can't use those ones. God, these scent things are a real pain in the ass. 30. Maybe I should have worked backwards from the 30. Maybe I should just take that <laughs> and stop complaining. <laughs> 94, what did I say it was again, sorry? 94 divided by 3, 31, 31, 125. I just need 13 on this yellow. I mean, it doesn't have to be just... Thirteen into a I can't do it. I don't see a way to do it. I can, I'm always one off. I can literally get one away every single time. That's so, so annoying. My god. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to 13 anyway. Well, we're gonna throw in a that. Actually, maybe I can go higher then and get more. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Sorry, I know that took ages. I just I I was I really wanted to pull it off. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Alas, was not to be. I'm not aging anything, am I? Because I've got. No, I'm not going to bother with that mechanic until I get better barrels, I think. I might not even be buy the barrels now. Uh, right. <clears throat> okay, so we sell some stuff. <laughs> Let's sell some stuff. Nine 
potions for the very first time. Nine high value. No, we're not necessarily going to get all nine. It's worth noting. Maybe need better display stands. I'll work on that next year. Okay. We need some speed here. All right, I'm going to keep taking all these. It, like I said, it just gives me direction when I don't really have any. So that's actually really useful. Oh, no, my squirrel. Oh, no. Oh, that was a horrible draw. Oh, my squirrel. My squirrel. I should have just, should have just, I shouldn't have done anything. I should have just held off entirely. Now, we have to be really careful with stress as well with nine potions up for sale. Oh, my squirrel. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a rough one. That's fine. But yeah, as soon as we start to take, take stress here, it's just going to go up and up and up and up and up. It's going to get, it's just a, a vicious cycle. Yeah, whatever. I'm not even going to argue anymore with these. I'm just going to take them. Squirrel! <laughs> well, let's scheme first. Oh, wait. No. Because i still got um, sympathy on. <clears throat> I was thinking I'll wait for something like that in case, but... No need. Uh, we're probably closing it out here. I'm really surprised they haven't found another closer card, actually. Hmm. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to not think about all this too much, because you can get in your head a bit too much. Just got to go for it. There we go. Finally, the did something. It removed a single point of shield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Living the dream, folks. Living the dream. But yeah, we've got nine to go through, so I'm going to just, I'm going to try to be speedy here. Four patients left. Want to close it out? That'd be nice. Got captivate though. So I can double strike and close it out. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick, bro. I don't think that's gonna be enough though, because he's got um stubborn. Not nowhere near enough. But not bad. <clears throat> if I get to the third tier and I close it out, I'm always pretty happy with that. Hey Mugtuck! Captivate! Muscle memory! God I love Captivate. If I could run a deck of like 15 Captivates, I probably would. No, how many would I? I'd take four for sure. I would definitely take four. Look at it, it's so good! It's so good! It's gonna force me to draw a stress card. Alright, I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. Can I burn through this? I think I can burn through all my patients in one turn. And close it out. It's actually gonna be a really strong turn. Look talk, trying to ruin me. Look at the look at the price of this potion! It's not even done yet. We're about to close it out. 1,500. That's mad. Bloody hell. Captivate. Oh, game, you're being so good to me today. It's gone perfectly so far. I know I'm not necessarily smashing the, the full hearts, but no stress. Selling for a fortune. It feels good. Uh, scheme. Love you, scheme. Bravado. Would have been, been nice to get that a bit earlier. This arm. This arm's now worth five. That's one of the benefits of this arm, to be fair. We're going to go 2 1, aren't we? So that's craftsmanship. Yeah, we're not, never going to hit that high tier. That's mad. Got a seal. Not so bad. Captivate! <laughs> Game! Why are you being so nice to me? It's crazy. I love it when they shield. Anything that doesn't give me stress, I'm generally speaking pretty okay with. Right, come on, disarm. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Bah. Even Precious not going to get it, is it? It's annoying. Captive. Oh, God. Oh, did I just throw three cards away with Captivate? With, um, Thingy. I did. That's very sad. Yeah, not great, this one. I'm not taking the stress. That was a little sad. That was a little unfortunate. To, to discard three cards. Yeah, whatever. Okay, scheme. Scheme. Oh, come, come on! <laughs> Where's my fucking... Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Right, I want to apply confident. I should have done that straight away, actually, in retrospect. I kind of forgot that scheme was also doing things. Sympathy as well. Okay, every card we play gets me a fortune. I'm going to play a card, right, that doesn't add interest. Okay, pressure. And we gained four. What? 
Oh, of course it's only four. I've only got, oh, I thought I'd be both of them up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was really excited about that. I was like, yeah, this is going to be sick. And it did nothing. Why have I started saying sick again? I don't say sick. Right. Uh, oh, we're fine here. I'm going to nail this one. Roxanne. Max interest, baby. So automatically close deal. Do I get the bonus 5% if I max out? Interesting. I don't know. I don't know about that. Sympathy. Keep your guard up. I'm actually going to take a stress here, annoyingly. I mean, to be fair, oh, I'm not. Where am I getting this extra shield from? Didn't I only get three? I thought you only got three. Can't expect full price. Plus 47% here. Last time it was, what, 1550 or something? I want to beat that if I can. We're closing out this turn now, so it seems unlikely. Play, you numpty. Can I get to next tier? Ah! Oh! I could. T no. I mean, I wanted to beat my record, though. Sad. God, this takes ages. <laughs> Pressure! No, confident first. Pressure! Come on, be good to me. I'll do. Uh, it's going to cost two. That's fine. Really just going to be looking for a close it out next turn. Because I've got one pressure left. Unless we get Captivate, of course. Need to get back to my shop and jack up all my prices. Alright, let's, let's, let's leave the jacking up for... Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so close. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. How does this work? If I hit the max star, does it automatically... F Alright, I need, I need to test that on one the way it'll actually happen. I can't remember how that works. If I hit the max star, max heart, I know it's a heart, but if I hit the max one, does it automatically finish? Or do I have to hit the max one and then go another tier further? Do I need to, like, get to the fifth and then fill it up? Because if not, I've been missing out on a lot of gold by playing badly. Because what I should be doing, if I'm, like, one card away from maxing out and I'm not playing it because of the pressure and I'm closing the deal... I should be playing it, right? I need to go back and check my recording. It's actually important. It's actually a big thing. I'm trying to convince you all that <laughs> this nonsense matters. That's only greater. That was rubbish. Oh, wait. Isn't that the um, thing done? I only needed greater, didn't I, for the custom order? God, I've got so many of them now. I, like, I do like getting... I mean... Barely worth I mean, it wasn't worth it. It was literally not worth it. <clears throat> However, 10,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. 10 freaking thousand gold. Very exciting times. Thank you, buddy. Um, I'm going to get some ones that I actually care about. Crazy idea. I like ones that I've got like two in more than anything. I really like these, the shelf puddings. They're great. 10,000. I'm rich. I say that. Last time I had six and it went in like two seconds. Uh, right. <clears throat> so what have I still got here? Everything here is for sale, right? Theory. I don't want to sell cures because they are lower price today. So yeah, if we can get another... What's the time... When are these finishing? <sighs> I'm going to be one short, I think. But can I open the shop? There? I can't open the shop there, right? I don't think so. No, I have to open the shop there, which means they're not going to finish in time. Which is really irritating. So I, I really want to open the shop twice today. I mean, we still can. It's just because it's such a good day. With all this increased value, double increased value for tonics. Is it worth opening just for this? I don't think so. Which means I'm gonna... I have to pull back a little bit. Because I, I like having a tonic available. Okay, so that's fine. What we're gonna do is just brew for one of our missions. So, I'm gonna do the one for... Oh, wait, I thought I did this one. Or is that about to finish? So what's that? Alertness, drowsiness. Is that the two I need? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do a Grand Silence Cure with 2 and 4 for, um, what's the face? 
I want to call her Yvonne. It's not Yvonne, but I, I do want to call her Yvonne. Shadow Cauldron. It's going to be a little ropey in a Shadow Cauldron. I also forgot what it was already. Alertness? Silence. Of course, it's one of the bloody lips. Okay, so we're looking for Grand si Two times Grand Silence with a two and a four. So I don't want no A. I want no D. Shut up. <laughs> with a two. I can find one that does both, which I definitely can't. Two and a four. I have zero in the fours. Okay, we're not doing that one. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Um, greater petrification, greater silence. We have a one and a two. Well, we can do the greater silence again. A one. All right. Sorry, just using my brain. That's what you're saying. One and a two. Well, we can definitely do that. Okay, so I just need to make this into a greater silence cure. Shouldn't be that bad. And nothing that's going to overwrite the first or the second. Okay, cool. Um, right. You may notice that by and large I am just shoving things in. <laughs> like, and hoping it's gonna work out. <clears throat> I mean, that's it. It's obviously not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is, it's good enough. Can I do better? If I can get the yellow down from 80 to 58, that'd be great. <sighs> Let me think. I mean, that's fine. It's not great, though. I mean, we're in a rubbish cauldron. I feel limited by the cauldron in a way that I haven't in the past. 2 one, 1. Is there anything that's got all three? I don't think so. Come on, game. Don't do that to me. How are we doing? I mean, it is fine. It's totally fine. I don't need to panic about it. Like, it's A-OK -okay to do that. It's just greater I need, right? <clears throat> this is what I'm doing, yeah? Greater petrification, greater silence. It's just, I, I, I know I'm going to sell them as well. I know they're worth nothing at the moment, but um, I know they're going to go for sale, so, like, why not make them as good as possible? But that's, you know what? It's fine. One, two... Should I bought some hay. Uh, night time is an extra time slot. What does that mean? I'm just screw this up. It's fine. Doesn't make me totally happy that I'll, I'll admit, but it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> so I guess they're going to spend the day with some social stuff. I'm not selling again, am I? I'm just going to take everything out. I know where it is. It's not like I need the cash right now. Let's go traveling. I'm going to try to save some money. <laughs> Have I done my social stuff today at all? Have I done any gifts or anything today? I have a horrible feeling I haven't. I must have done. I've done everything today, why am I here? Oh right, yeah, we're gonna rank up. So we're gonna rank up. We can only rank up once, but it's just something to do with my time, you know? Oh, maybe we can rank up twice. And nothing was on sale today, correct? It's funny, I've got something, I don't really have anything to spend all this money on. <laughs> like, it actually feels a little pointless right now. And that will not be the case by tomorrow, but right now, the money is not super helpful. We can go buy the chest from the cats. We haven't done that today, actually. And we can rank up with her. Oh, actually, I don't have a coupon for her, do I? This might be the coupon. Let's do that first. Wait, do I have a coupon? I have no idea. However, <laughs> um, I did plan for this. This was the idea, right? Do I really need another cauldron? I do so much already. Yeah, screw it. It means we need to go buy a cauldron as well. I'm not using... I should have done this ages ago. I should have just bought a new cauldron instead of using this crap shadow one. But um, bum bum Because the good thing about the cauldrons is you can always buy them. 
Do I want Celestial or Steel? I really don't know which I prefer of those two. I'm not going to buy another one. We're going to wait till the next tier to upgrade that now. Um, but, um, oh, all I need is a Feather Gelatin. I can, I can, I, oh, that might be worth doing. Let's go buy a Feather Gelatin from Quinn. Actually, let's go talk to the cats first. I've, I've actually... A lot of my money has, is going to be gone very, very quickly because this cat box is like 1500 or something. Okay, that's new though, I think. The Silver Stag Antler. And that's new. The Naga's Fang. Alright, cool. You know what? If I get a new ingredient or two, I'm, I'm usually pretty happy. But man, I was so rich and it's just gone. <laughs> like, it's just vanished. And you, you know that next... Like, it's great now, but next year everything's going to get even more expensive. Oh, right. I think click submit, apparently. Two more ingredients for the pile, though. Yeah, this is going to be a much longer playthrough than I ever anticipated. Now, I'm looking for a squishy, aren't I? None of those, look, literally none of those look squishy to me. Which is the squishy one? What? Slime. Oh, it's that. This is literally the first one. I just want a feather gelatin. Why not go spend all of my cash immediately? Where's uh, Muk Tuk? I'm going to upgrade our um, cauldron. Am I going to upgrade the cauldron, though? Let me think about this, because... We could. Alright, it's possible. Is that going to be better? Wait, how's that nine ingredients? Wasn't it eight? Oh, no, no, okay. Is that... Even upgraded. Right, how much does it cost? Hey, to be fair, it doesn't cost anything really, though, does it? That's the thing, it is super cheap. Oh, what is that? Super gnarly. I've not seen that before. Because it's so cheap, I think it's worth doing. Um. Right, that's still today. Yeah, wow, I'm way behind. I think I'm ignoring shelves now until... Next tier. Who are we going to rank up with? Muk Tuk? Sure. I feel like my brain is barely functioning right now. <laughs> like, I feel like I've had to juggle so much. I shall make a confession, Sylvia, now that we are away from the ears of the marketplace and all my many months spent in Rafter, I have not yet made time to admire its most famous landmark. Hey, you've been busy, right? Nay, gentle Sylvia, make no excuse for me. Say instead that we shall rectify this problem. For rectify it we shall, together, this very day, this very moment. Because it is right over there, you see it? It's impossible to miss. The statue stands tall against the horizon, at the precise spot where Rafter's Bay meets open ocean. It depicts an infamous witch at the height of her power. This is Maven, who once ruled the island. Muktuk regards it in complete silence. He doesn't move a muscle, he barely seems to breathe. Sylvia, not wanting to disturb him, turns her eyes back onto the statue. What is Muktuk seeing that she missed? Tut. I do not know what to think, Sylvia. I do not know how to feel. My gut is a swirl of indistinct emotions like fish beneath the ice. On the one flipper, <laughs> this statue is unquestionably an impressive display of prowess. On the other, it represents an ugly history. What history is that? The story goes that this statue was erected by many hands under much duress. They say Maven turned her great mental powers on the people, that she wielded them, wielded them as tools as bloody Nora. And thus, the crux of my confusion. Can I admire the artwork in isolation from the context of its creation? Which is a big thing. Um, how much are you willing to separate art from artist? A lot of it depicts depends on... Because uh, it's a big thing with the Harry Potter game at the moment, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. I really want to play the Harry Potter game. Like, I'm not even that big a Harry Potter fan. It's just that we don't really have games like that and like making potions, for example, and crafting magic and living in the school and that kind of open world kind of approach to it. And I loved the Harry Potter games as a kid that I used to play on the PlayStation 2 in particular, I think. Maybe the Xbox, I can't remember. Xbox, I think. Anyways, I really, really loved the games. I was big on them and this is like a much better version, seemingly. And I'm okay separating art from artist. Um, the problem comes... When this is actually quite a big topic, um, the problem comes, of course, that when you appreciating the art, like if you appreciate a statue, even if it's got horrible history, that doesn't benefit the statue maker or the person in said statue in this case. If I buy the Harry Potter game, 
it supports JK Rowling. And people will be like, oh, she's already been paid, yada, yada, yada. But the point is, the better the game does, the more likely she's going to get more games and more licenses and stuff like that. The flip side of that, and I have two converse points with that. That's not the word I wanted. Two contrasting points. The first is that she has a bajillion pounds anyway. At the end of the day, it's a small drop in the ocean. Does it really make a difference? Whether that justifies it morally, yeah. The second point is that it's basically impossible to be an ethical consumer in 2023, and 2022, and 2021, and like the last however many decades, frankly. Like, I'm sitting here in a hoodie and t-shirt and sweats, and um, the chances that all my clothes were made by tiny little children in China is pretty bloody high. Like, I would be, and like, it, this is an Under Armour hoodie, so the chances are it was made in China. I don't know where Under Armour makes their stuff, but I assume it's in China. Um, my room is filled, like, the PC I'm playing this on with all its electronic parts, like, the room I'm in and all the stuff in it. To, to, ch or if you ever played, like, a Blizzard game, I play a lot of Hearthstone. It's run by a terrible person, Blizzard, but I love Hearthstone, so I kept playing it. I think... I struggle a little with the JK Rowling thing because I think people are all the time supporting terrible people with their business decisions. Because at the end of the day, if someone's a billionaire or a multi, 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 multi millionaire, but let's say billionaire for this purpose, especially, they're probably not a great person. I think it's basically impossible to be a billionaire if you're not a bit of a twat. And, you know, you look at Elon Musk, for example, with all the blood money and he's just clearly a terrible person. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's near impossible to be a billionaire without some corruption, right? And then you look at who owns, like, so many of the products we consume. Nestle, for example, terrible company, does loads of terrible things, but you try to avoid buying any Nestle products. And I don't just mean Nestle chocolate. Nestle is like a, a holding firm, it's a parent company, owns kajillions of brands, so many brands, that I think if you tried to avoid living by purchasing from people who do terrible things, and this is really a criticism of capitalism more than anything else, if you try to avoid ever buying anything from people who did terrible things, and therefore supporting those people, you would not be able to function. There are definitely people who live like that, but I could never live like that. 99.9% .9 of us realistically could never live like that. Because at the end of the day, you need money to live like that, or you need to dumpster dive and stuff like that, you know? Um, so my problem with it, I guess, is why is that okay? I mean, I don't think it's okay, but we accept it. But the JK Rowling thing with the Harry Potter game has kind of caught the... has kind of like cultural Twitter and etc. has kind of latched onto it on a much deeper level, right? It's, it's a huge thing. And there's loads of people saying, if you buy this, you're a transphobic and you're hating the community, not supporting the community, yada, yada, yada. Whilst at the same time, themselves buying tons of ethically dubious items. And my reason that I think it's the case is because transphobia and trans rights, etc., is basically the hot topic at the moment. And that's good, by the way. Like, trans rights is important, and I completely disagree with, with J.K. Rowling's stance. She is a massive turf, and she can go fuck herself, frankly. But I do find it odd that... We had it with BLM, like, a few years ago, in that, you know, if you bought from people who... Like, it was a thing in America with um, Chick Filler in particular, and that's really died down, but at the time there's a big boycott because their owner was basically a racist. Um, Chick Filler, I don't know how you pronounce that, by the way, we don't have it over here. And that is less of a thing now because it isn't the cultural hot topic. So we kind of latch onto the thing and we make a big moral stance about it and condemn anyone who goes in the opposite direction. But then you yourself move on. And I think if you don't have consistency of ethics in this kind of thing, then it's kind of, it's an iffy horse that people are sitting on. How is it okay to, for example, for example, I know I'm, I don't really have the opportunity to talk in this series, so I want to go off. There's a manager, Pep Guardiola, who manages Manchester City. Um, and he is Spanish, but he would call himself Catalonian. Now, Catalonia is a region in Spain that for a long time has wanted independence from Spain. There's a lot of Catalonians who think they should be an independent nation, and Pep Guardiola supports that. And there's a history of abuse against Catalonia, and they've been subjected to human rights abuses by the wider Spanish government, etc. So obviously, as a Catalonian himself, he is in support of free Catalonia. At the same time, he is the manager of Manchester City Football Club, who are owned by... Wait, I don't want to fuck this up. Who owns Man City? Is it Qatar? It's not Qatar. 
Is it Qatar? Dubai? It's Dubai. It's an Abu Dhabi. It's an Abu Dhabi conglomerate. And it's their, it's their government owns it. And they're obviously responsible for tons of human rights abnormalities. Constant. Like, loads of them. Horrible ones. Still to this day, it's illegal to be gay in the country, etc. So... Or, like, publicly gay, at least. And, you know, women have no rights, and all this. It's horrible for human rights. And yet he is paid and works for a company run by them. By their government. This isn't like, oh, well, yeah, but America does such and such. You can't play for an American-owned club. Like, say, Liverpool, for example. Very different thing, because it's not owned by the American government. If the American government bought Liverpool, I would stop supporting Liverpool, quite frankly. It's owned by the literal government who are enacting these behaviours, enacting these these policies that are subjecting people to horrible human rights abuses. So how can you, on one hand, say, oh, I support these human rights, but I don't support these human rights, and I'm going to take money from them? It's because you have to pick your battles at the end of the day, and it's impossible for anyone to take every battle. You'd never get anything done with your life. So I'm not going to play the Harry Potter game. I'm not going to buy the Harry Potter game. I don't want to support JK Rowling, but I do find the posturing on it to be a little... A little um, disingenuous in some ways, you know. In that, no, not in that. You know, if you don't want to buy it to not support it, that is totally okay. That's that's a great thing to do. I, I've full, fully on board with the idea of consumers using capitalism as a fight, as as a as a <laughs> using capitalism against the capitalist system in the first place. I think that's a really good thing. And you know, if everyone boycotted the game, that would be brilliant. I'd be super on board. My problem comes more from people who denounce or look down on people who do buy the game, right? Because all they're doing is picking a different fight than you are. And I think it's really hypocritical to say you're transphobic and you don't support trans rights, etc. If you buy this game. Because then you could surely turn around to that same person and say, okay, well, you support sweatshops and you support all these horrible practices and all the products that you buy that you could find out about with a moment's research if you wanted to, but you choose not to because it's easier to live in that bubble. I find that really hypocritical and really annoying. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> like I say, it's great. Don't buy it. Don't support her. JK Rowling It's a terrible person. I have no interest in supporting her whatsoever. And I'm not even that big a Harry Potter fan. It's not a big deal to me at all. I just think it's... We don't need to denounce the people who do do it. And I suspect a lot of people who play the game, when it comes out in just a few weeks, are going to get a lot of hate. And I think it's posturing for social media. And that annoys me as well. Because that's, again, it's about where morality comes from. And I don't think that's morality. I think, yeah, I know it's... I hope that makes sense. I hope, like, I don't want people to think I support J.K. Rowling or anything. I'm 100% pro-trans rights, etc. And J.K. Rowling is a turf, and I, hate, I very much dislike her, and she keeps doubling down on this women's rights nonsense. And just like with men's rights activists, not that women's rights activists are all idiots. Obviously not. Women's rights is still a thing. And still something that needs to be fought for, because women do not have equal opportunity, do not have equal pay, etc., etc. But there is a subsection of women's rights activists who are the same as the subsection of men's rights activists, which is a whole other kettle of fish. But the men who are like, oh, now straight men don't get anything, gurg, I'm a straight white male, I'm subjected to things, and I keep getting passed over for jobs, and all this kind of stuff. Or... And there are issues with men's rights that are worth talking about, like, for example, you know, just suicide rates in general, or um, the way when it comes to giving out parenthood. You know, during divorce and stuff, men are treated very badly in that regard compared to women. Um, but let's be honest, it's a very small fight compared to what other people have to go with. As a straight white male myself, I know I've got it pretty bloody easy, you know. I don't feel the need to campaign for men's rights. There's issues that need to be tackled. But, you know, it's more important that more subjective members of society get their due. You know, we've had our time. <laughs> it's time for women, it's time for trans people, time for everyone else, basically, except us. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. I, I talked about that for way longer than I anticipated. Um, you, no, you cannot admire artwork in isolation from its creation. Context is important for understanding art. Ha, well said, Sylvia. For example, I don't listen to Lost Prophets anymore. I don't know if it's because I've just grown out of Lost Prophets and they are kind of more, I would say, childish style of music than I listen to nowadays. That sounds very pretentious, but 
it's kind of what I mean. It's just very typical pop punk ish stuff. Emphasis on the pop. I did used to love rooftops, it must be said. I was never that big a Lost Prophets fan. But obviously, the lead singer of Lost Prophets is a terrible fucking human being. He's an abhorrent, horrible, horrible person. And I say that with full vehemence. He's. he's so if you don't know the story, I'm not going to talk about it. Just look up Lost Prophets and the lead singer. Um, and at the end of the day, if you listen to them on Spotify, they get paid from that. And maybe he's in jail right now, hopefully for life. But most people get out of jail for life. Is he ever going to come out? Is he ever going to reap the rewards of you listening to them on Spotify? This is what I mean. Just, ah. <sighs> pick your battles. Don't lambast the people who don't pick the same battle as you. Yeah? Yeah. I find myself in agreement after all the things we create do not come from nowhere. We leave our mark on all that we bring into being, and it would be the height of hubris to think we do so apart from the circumstances and lived experience, not to mention the continued influence exerted by those who came before us, whether they are living or dead. And so I find I cannot see beauty, beauty in a creation that is tainted by such ego and cruelty as this. At best, perhaps I can learn from its technical proficiency. If nothing else, it is impressive in that regard. That said, by the way, quick little side note, the plot of the Harry Potter game is incredibly anti-Semitic, so that's a good reason not to buy it anyway. Never mind the JK Rowling stuff, that's a better reason in my opinion. It'd be tough to beat purely in terms of impact. I have seen some sites to rival it abroad, but I can count them on one flipper. And what a feat that would be, eh, to match its balance of formal elements, to find such an impactful use for anti-gravity enchantments. Sounds like you can teach a class on this stuff. I would rather do that do than teach, and I would much rather outdo than imitate. It is intimidating, however, the thought of creating some great work in a land where it will be compared to this one. Fortunately, I have developed a tough skin for critics. That is necessary in our line of work, is it not? To fortify our egos, to reinforce our very souls against underserved hostility. Reinforce? Uh... I mean, I don't get stressed anyway, because I'm a, an MLG player. Did that cost two? If it cost one, I would have considered it. But at two, I'm not. I'm never going to use it. All right, I think I'm done here. So let's head home. Gave out all the gifts. Spent all our money. The upgrades are very expensive. They really are. What did I even upgrade? <laughs> all right, I'm confused. What did I upgrade? I actually don't remember. Was it just the shelf? Oh, I bought a new cauldron as well. Alright, I'm just going to do some... I know this is a long episode. I've been talking a lot. But I want to grab... Oh, do I though? Because I'm going to have to set the brews. No, okay. We'll do that in the next video. Next video, we're going to set the brews. We're going to put down our new cauldron. I think it's just going downstairs anyway. Wait, is that a cauldron there? Oh, of course. We just got a new cauldron, didn't we? Um, one sec. There we go. It looks different. Looks fancier. I wish I could sell these, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, three cauldrons. Four cauldrons total. God. Right, well, I'm not going to change the one downstairs. Not yet. I'll do that. I still have ages for the competition. Like, this playthrough is just getting longer and longer. Um, we've got two brews on the way. Only one's finishing today, right? Oh, no, they're both... Oh, I'm just, oh no, that's... Yeah, that's tomorrow. Silence Cure. That's for that. I think I've done that one and that one. With these. Alertness, drowsiness. Yeah, that's that's Zid done. And that's that one done. So I'm going to empty those and then probably try to do one of these if we can. Didn't I try these and I couldn't do them? I'll try again. Um, now we've got a new cauldron. Maybe that'll make a difference somehow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. We'll end it there. Thank you for joining me. Next video, brewing some more potions. Grab those ones. Sleep. Gardening. What's gardening doing? Um. There you go. Sleep, gardening, yada yada. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.